everybody, it's Carla. Today I'll show you how to paint this pretty pink flower. Um, the materials needed are in the description below. I'm starting with a uh, just a large synthetic angle brush and um, you could also use a flat brush or whatever. I just want to get some color on the canvas. Um, so I started with black and now I'm going to mix up a a green shade and put a little touch of red in it um, that just kind of dulls it down a little bit and I'm just gonna put different shades of green onto the canvas and dry it so this is just kind of a blurry background of leaves and things all right now this is a, a deer foot stippler it's a round uh, stiff bristle brush and I'm going to use it to make my bokeh it's very simple just circle them on so I'm going to get all the yellow ones I want in and then I'm going to switch to kind of a green shade those in there that I want while I've got that color on my brush and now I've rinsed the brush and I'm gonna go in with a light pink with a white and magenta And now just plain magenta. And now really pale pink. Now I've decided that I don't like the yellow, so I came back in with white and lightened it. Now this is a very watered down uh, light pink, so it's really transparent. Now you want to dry it and with a chalk pencil, it's a white charcoal pencil, I'm going to sketch on my outline. So I'm going to do it petal by petal. Okay, now with, <clears throat> with an angle brush, I'm going to pick up some white and cover the entire flower. And this will help me to, um, to get the vibrant colors that I want. If you don't do this, and, and make sure you dry it, if you don't cover it with white, then you're going to have a hard time getting any kind of vibrant color. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the magenta and make sure that you go all the way to the edge. Don't leave any white showing there. Um, if you go over the edge, that's fine, but make sure that you cover it all. 
You don't want an outline of white around your flower. And then dry it. Okay, now I'll switch to a smaller angle brush. And I'm gonna pick up some red and a little bit of magenta. And I'm gonna start um, defining my petals. So this is just kind of a shadow color and I'm going to use it to define each individual petal. speed this up because it's repetitive but um, just make sure you get all of those shadows in You can tell it's already starting to get some some definition. Okay, now rinse that brush. I'm mixing up a, a lavender color uh, with magenta, violet, and white. And um, I just wanna change the flavor a little bit of the petals. If you like the shade it is, then don't worry about this, but um, I just kinda wanted to Add a little more of a violet shade. So I'm going to do this to each petal. I'm going to speed it up now. going to start on my um, shadows again. So I've picked up red and a little bit of magenta and a little purple or violet and a little bit of um, black, just a tiny bit of black. There it is. Um, so I just want to basically a really really dark red shade and I'm wiping most of the paint off my brush and where we put the red earlier I'm going to come back and brush this in but not as much of it so you're not going to cover up all of your red but you're going to go on top of your red you're not going on on the pink So notice this really starts giving it some definition. I'm going to speed it up a little. Notice it's really starting to look dimensional now. Okay, 
Okay, now, now I want to start on my highlights. I've got my shadows in. And obviously I've got my the main color of my flower, but now I need some highlights. I'm still using that small angle brush. This gives it even more dimension. speed it up. Okay, now I want to go ahead and get my stem in. So I'm just using just a dark shade, it really doesn't matter. So make sure that you go from the center, imaginary line, and then on down with your stem. That stem needs to be going toward your center. And then I'm going to clean and dry the brush and use it to kind of fuzz out the edges because uh, I don't want this stem to be real defined. Um, I want to keep the focus on the, the flower, so I kind of want this to kind of blend into the background a little bit. Now I'm mixing up a big pile of um, yellow and white because I'm going to use quite a bit of paint right here. So I'm going to wash my brush and come back with the, the back end of my brush and dip into that color and start dabbing on my center. So I'm going to speed this up. Um, it's just dab, 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 dab. Keep the, the center of the center uh, pretty heavy with paint. And then as you get out toward the edge, don't reload the brush. I mean, yeah, the brush. Um, and then you get these little fine dots. And then we're gonna do the same thing with red, but not as much of it. It's mostly around the edges of the center. Go ahead and speed that up. And now that dark color, I'm going to use it and put in just a little, just a few of these. Not many. And then some white right in the center of the center of the center.
Okay, now I've picked up some water and I'm gonna water down some magenta and violet. I want this to be really, really watered down. It's just a glaze. And I'm gonna use it to, um, again, just kind of change, I'm kind of changing the flavor of the petals, but I'm also, um, it also makes it richer, like a richer color. So I'm just gonna glaze over the whole thing. It's subtle, but I like it. And then dry it. And now with a fan brush, a hog bristle fan brush, I'm gonna pick up some white and then scrape most of it off. And I'm gonna start putting in my sun rays. So with the edge of the brush, I'm just gonna speed this up, but um, just put in your all your little sun rays. Start off small, small, and then you can come back and lengthen some of them or um, change the, the shape of the whole thing. But you always want to start off small because once you get it on there, it's hard to get it off. All right, now with my angle brush, I'm going to come back and brighten that up. So I'm still using the white, but I just want to um, make it a little more bold. Okay, now I've got all that. Um, and now I'm gonna water down some yellow, uh, not with white in it, just, just plain yellow, watered down. And on the ends of my sun rays, I wanna brush in this glaze. And this just kinda warms up the sun. And then with pure white, I'm gonna dot in, with the back of my brush, brush I'm gonna dot in this center of the sun. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.